Hey, hello. So, <clears throat> uh, I played with this ribbon thingy and um, my metal was based on these magnets. Let me show you. On these. Is there a way that the focus works? Ah, well, it does. So they, these are uh, 30 millimeters long, two millimeters thick, and three millimeters wide. Rather tiny ones. But, uh, yeah, this one, for instance, these are five millimeter wide, two millimeter thick, and also 30 long. So I made new metal plates and I attached the magnets not so nicely, I must say. Uh, it's because I've done it well by hand and it's not ideal to do this by hand if you want to have uh, consistent nice results. But it fits and uh, by the looks of it, it is much stronger as you might expect. Uh, expect. Still, these are like uh, N37 or something, N38 in this region so nothing alike like the BNGs but the video actually is about the BNGs because I was looking at the BNGs so this pattern is the same as the BNGs so people always ask what's the efficiency I say well not as not so really high and uh, especially compared to the BNG Neo 3 and PDR so this is a old foil I used some time ago. If I just put it over here and I push it, hard to see, but there's quite a room. I can show you like this. You see, this is much higher than the magnets. So the spacing between magnets and foil is in my case a millimeter. Exactly a millimeter to be honest. So I like that but maybe for a tweeter that's not great. It was quite clear that the, B B the B and G's are built around efficiency. And that's partly why they fail except for burning you know okay let's show you so this is one that uh, I took apart here where the connection points they get soldered if you solder them too long with a hot iron you will burn the foil and the thing is done for but what I noticed there's a lot of old PNGs that when I measure them at least I measured a few right now and they're all either are fucked or this is the way they are I can't imagine uh, they're really efficient that's true but uh, the main failure point and that's over time and that might as well be true for any tweeter based on neodymium magnets for all I know because I don't know uh, you know the tweeters I made are not uh, eight years old or something I don't know how old these are but uh, first off the distance between magnet and foil. So I put a piece of plastic that is, I'll grab it, here's a glue on there. So I'll grab a clean piece of plastic, this one. And here the foil is glued on the frame. So if I put this on, I should be able to see the distance between the magnets and the foil. Can I get closer? Yes, I can. Well, it's hard to see. A matter of fact, it's touching here, here, and here. So what the distance originally was, I have no clue. I guess less than 0 0.5 millimeter. So that's how they get their huge, insanely efficient output. That and the, and the good magnets they used. 
I say good strong magnets they use because good they are not because uh, when you look at this you can see the felt touching this piece of plastic that means the mylar if they're or Calidex or whatever they use would touch the magnets or at least touch it real quick if you put any signal in there uh, so this is one without the, the foamy bits and yeah this disaster might explain why so as you can see here uh, the magnets have uh, neodymium usually have a coating of copper and then um, what's it called ah I can't find the word. Well, usually coins are made of the same material. Jesus Christ, I cannot. I'll look it up because, uh, hell, you know how it goes. If, you, if you're not finding the word, it can take ages. Um, but yeah, this plating is like uh, letting go. And it's really nasty, the magnets itself. Um, so what happens is this flakes off and it will uh, push the uh, felt kind of stuffy upwards uh, and it might or might not touch the foil I had a tweeter and measured it and I have a lot of distortion coming from I believe and then it goes berserk it plays loud but with a lot of distortion so that might a B and G Neo 3 PDR by the way but the reason might be because the magnets are failing uh, so yeah, if if they sound rather weird down low, although they are not able to play that low, but, uh, this might be the case. But even if it's a good one, and the magnets are not like flaking off, I mean, I see here a few magnets that are proper. Let me remove the stuff. If I don't take off the... Ooh, my stomach is going bananas. So there is some glue still on there, but at least, ah, well, here it goes as well. So this is the space they actually intended to use. Do you see that? Can you look underneath this piece of plastic? I'll measure it. Uh, if possible. So this is the plastic is 3 3.38 That's without the felt Let's check that again. 3.8 is the plastic. I might need to read it when I push it on instead of grabbing it because it might change. Yeah, for 4.3. So it is around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 millimeter distance to the magnets without the felt even so uh, with felt it's it's even less so that's your uh, failure they well their coating or plating is letting go and since the distance between the magnet and the foil is like minute uh, it fails another thing is that I measured this and there's still glue on this 
edge. So I might, I'm sure it's even lower, so I'll remove that. Less than 4.2. Uh, and the plastic was 3.7, so yeah, 0 0.5 without having damping. That's, uh, well, half the distance I use in every tweeter I make, sort of. That means more output for this one. But also, uh, well, the chance that it has problems if you if the felt is not completely flat or there is some bump because of the glue or the magnets going weird or you cross it a little bit lower than you than you should have done it's instant insane distortion but on the other hand very efficient very loud so that's your failure point i was just looking at it and i thought hell I hardly see any spacing. How did they do this? Well, apparently they did some spacing, so less than half a millimeter. Hardly visible by eye, weirdly enough. But uh, yeah, I was making uh, some new uh, thingies. I might not be able to make a coil for it as well. Since this one is for the other magnets, it doesn't fit. And I hate machining uh, steel on my machine because it's it's terrible. It's I'll I'll just leave it on, uh, take really shallow cuts and and run away from the shed and hope it all goes goes well because the sound is terrible. The finish is also well, you know, it's not great. It works, but it's uh, well, <laughs> definitely not the best. And, uh, well, hopefully I'll see you next time when I finish this one. And, uh, and I wonder if there is a difference between this one and the smaller magnets. There is, probably, but how much is the question. Would be nice if I could find 3.5mm mm, 3 mm thick magnets, but that's not a common size, or not a size at all. So, I'll have to do with these ones. Or go to 4mm like they did in the BNG. Uh, well, see you next time. Bye bye.